Hey there, Dustin here from Retro Supply. So we recently released a pack of vector brushes and they're called the Garage Grime Vector Brush Subscription Pack. It's a mouthful. And the first pack that came out with this pack is the Oil and Grease Vector Brush Pack. And this made me start thinking about all the different ways you can use vector brushes. I think all of us, when we first think of using vector brushes especially, is to do line work, which they're fantastic for. Um, there's a lot of people that do amazing stuff with them went that way, and I definitely think that's a great way to use them. But you can also use them two other really cool ways um, that I wanted to share with you today, and that is for adding texture to work and for adding roughened edges to work. As you can see on this word oil here, I've used it both these ways. So I've created a shine by getting one of the brushes and then putting it around the edges where the highlights would be on this word. So it kind of shines like oil and kind of has this grit to it, like a, you know, actual, like a garage or, you know, something you would see in a garage, like a sign. And I've also made the edges rough, but the actual text isn't rough. I just roughened it by adding this to it. So as you can see, the shine is just a like a texture brush, and in this case it's one out of the Garage Grime Pack, but it could be any texture brush that you got from anywhere. I just basically created a normal line and then I added it to it and just created this cool shine with it. So that's pretty simple. I think that's self-explanatory. You know, you can go and you can, of course, tweak exactly, you know, where how it's shining on it. You can also mess with the stroke, maybe like that's too thick of a stroke for you and you wanted a finer one, you could drop it down and do like, you know, like one five and make it even smaller. You can manually totally control it by just typing numbers in. Um, so that's one thing you can do. The other cool thing you can do is add like this texture on the edge and you can kind of see that there. It's pretty cool. Let me show you what this looks like without the texture. So without the texture on it, it would look like this. And that looks good. I actually like love the look of beautifully done vector lines. So this is, you know, beautifully done smooth lines, but maybe you want to grit this up because the words oil, this is something maybe you'd hang in like, you know, your garage or something like that. You can add a stroke to it and then you just have to change the color of course. So it matches. So we change the color to a pure black because that's what I'm using and then just shrink it down a little bit. So I'll shrink it down to like a quarter of a point. I'm going to actually shrink it down even a little smaller than that. And again, you can do that manually here by just typing in a number. Kind of like the subtlety of it, although we could get pretty intense, obviously. So that's really it. And the cool thing, by the way, about this particular pack with these like edges is we have some no stretch brushes in here. And what that basically means is I want to show you something. So on regular brushes, if I was to draw a really long line with them, they would start to stretch. And it would be, it would slowly become more and more obvious as you made the line longer and longer. So I'm just gonna make like a long line here. And then I could add like this texture to it. Now that still looks decent, but you can start to see it starting to stretch, right? Like not a ton, it's still looking pretty good. But let me show you what happens when you use a no stretch brush on this kind of thing. So you notice that even though we have a really long path here, it's not stretching at all. It's staying exactly how it was originally scanned and processed in. And that's good for when you need really long lines done or you want to do it on certain edges. I still always think it's better to use the standard brushes wherever you can. But when you can, like, or when you need to, it's really useful to know that you have some no stretch brushes that aren't going to distort at all. That's all I want to show you. Um, I hope you found that helpful and gave you some ideas of how you might use vector brushes in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.